Welcome back everyone to another episode. So today's episode, I'm gonna run through a bit of a review for the iDrive that I put in my car. Now, a lot of people I have asked me about iDrives and what I think of them, that sort of business, just a couple of me mates. So, thought I'd do this video for you guys to give you a bit of information um, and just a bit of a general review. I've had it in my car for probably about two months and I have, I've used it in mud. it on rock tracks been getting a bit fair bit of use highway use all that sort of business so I'm gonna let you guys in on some of the settings that I use. Give you a bit of fuel economy, but yeah, give you some decent power as well. Righto, we are gonna go over some pros and cons for the thr throttle controller. So we're gonna start with a bit of a cons list. This thing has definitely changed the way my car drives and I love it, okay? So I'm not sponsored by these guys at all, so this is a 100% honest review. What I have found in Eco. Now, Eco 9 for me, personally is undrivable like it's it's just it's crap i'm just gonna say it it's crap i ran my car on eco 3 for about a month now it was good because it was good on fuel um it was very smooth to drive uh good slow takeoffs when you're driving around town so that's the whole point of the eco is the dulzy accelerator and you're, you're saving a bit more fuel but we all know when we drive around town, sometimes you need to get up it a little bit to maybe get up in front of some traffic or, you know, just general driving around town. Sometimes you need to get there a bit quicker. I found that when I would come to a complete stop and get to 60, it was a little bit too slow for my liking. Um, and I'm not trying to say that I'm a rev head or anything like that. It was just too slow. So I changed it back I guess down one to Eco 2. Now you may not think of it as a big jump, but there is definitely, you can notice the difference just between one to one, to one setting. So I jump now drive around Eco 2. So Eco 2 is good for around town. I'm not as sluggish in taking off to zero to 60. It's actually quite smooth. And then if you need that little bit of extra bump to get in front of some traffic, I'm guessing, this is just what I'm saying, uh, my experience with it. Um, if you need that little bump to get you ahead of some traffic, it's still there. It can still get you that little oomph to get to where you're going. Some more cons. In ultimate mode, great. Absolutely great. But, what I have found, ultimate nine is almost undrivable. And I mean that in a sense of general everyday driving to long highway driving. It, it, it's very hard to have the throttle response so responsive when you're on when you're on uh, a highway if you hit a bump your foot hits the accelerator it's it, it just it gives you that instant response uh, ultimate nine completely undrivable for highway and general around town so another thing I found in the ultimate uh, setting is when you're driving now I had this in ultimate nine for, t for a little bit of time and then I went down to ultimate six what I have found in an auto on my car is it drops back gears really 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 quickly now it would be good in a manual so you wouldn't be able to have that drop back but in an auto i'll go from fifth to third like that that's in ultimate six to nine so i found that really annoying when i was in say ultimate six and i would just creep up from the lights and take off when the light turned green my car would just take off and everyone would think that you're racing them but I guess I dulled that back down again. Uh, Teal from A2 Off-Road did suggest to me to run U2 was a setting. Now it's on the very light end of the ultimate setting on the th throttle controller. I have found that to be a really good general driving setting. You've got plenty of power when you need it. The response is there. 
it's not too jerky on the controls uh, it's not too jerky on the throttle the drivability of the car so I think that was I run sometimes run that setting as well ultimate 2 um, so we'll go for another con driving in ultimate mode again on rocky tracks or if you're crawling uh, it's hard it's very hard I did try some rock crawling testing just nothing crazy but just just trying to crawl over some rocks in ultimate 2 I found it very very jerky so what I did to dump it back is to put it in Eco 3. I found that Eco 3 for crawling on things gives you that dull response, great to drive on sand, rocks, uh, rock crawling, or just just going on tracks slowly. Because what I found, yeah, when I when I had it in Ultimate 2, driving around the tracks here in Grass Tree, it's just real jerky, and I hated it. It wasn't it wasn't comfortable. It wasn't a good smooth ride, and that's what we want. Okay, so pros, fuel economy. It I don't know, Matt, I don't know what magic it's done. It just does it. So, uh, with the exhaust and the throttle controller, I've managed to get about 7 litres per 100, which you may not think that's much, but when this old girl chews, well, it used to chew about 350 litres out of a 95 litre tank. Yeah, it gets old pretty quick, so I was happy to gain some of that back. Now, out of a full tank, I'm getting about 500, which is absolutely stoking, and that's even driving around town. So, pretty stoked with that sort of... Um, fuel mileage uh, another pro it's a whole nother car to drive it really is it's um, it's a really good car to drive I've got throttle response it's almost like a little turbo and I know it's I know it does not give you extra killer wasps, extra killer wasps. okay we know that it's been proven all it's doing is giving you that instant throttle response but that instant throttle response could might as well be killer wasps to me mate hey eh? like it's just a whole nother car to drive. It's an animal to drive. It's great. I love it. I'm not, not going to take it out of the car. Like I said with the cons, it doesn't mean that I don't like the iDrive. The iDrive is a perfect addition for this car and any other turbo car out there. I highly suggest you guys get one and put one on. So, right guys, that's the end of that episode. I hope you got a bit of information from this. Um, Maybe if you've got what if you've got some extra questions you want answered, just drop them in the comments below. Uh, also, daysoffadventures.com. Get yourself uh, some merch. Help support the channel. Uh, follow me on Instagram. Follow me on Facebook. I actually have a TikTok now. I sorry. I'm really sorry. I yeah. I don't know. <laughs> so make sure you guys are subscribed. Make sure you're following. Hit that like button. Hit that notification bell. Support the channel. Peace.